Peace and love, family. It's your brother Isaiah again with another video. Let's get to it. So this time I'm coming from 444.3, Unfair or Deceptive Cosigner Practices. This is Title 12. It says, in connection with the extension of credit to consumers in or affecting commerce, as commerce is defined by the Federal Trade Commission Act, a deceptive act or practice within the meaning of Section 5 of that act for a lender or retail stallman seller to directly or indirectly to misrepresent the nature or extent of the cosigner's liability. Now, let's start right there. The key thing that I want you to understand is that somebody's acting as a cosigner. So, let's get to this. First thing first, what is a cosigner? A cosigner is a natural person who renders himself or herself liable for the obligations of another person without compensation. The term shall include any person whose signature is requested as a condition to granting credit to another person or as a condition for forbearance on collection of another person's obligation that is in default. The term shall not include the spouse whose signature is required on a credit obligation to perfect the security interest pursuant to state law. A person who does not receive goods, services, or money in return for credit obligations does not receive compensation within the meaning of this definition. So, if you're entering into credit agreements and you're providing your signature for these credit agreements and you're not receiving compensation in return for the credit agreements, then as a cosigner, you're being played. The reason why it's so important that you understand your position as a cosigner because you could be accepting the liability for somebody else and not knowing it. Let's read this. Notice to cosigner, you are being asked to guarantee this debt. Think carefully before you do. If the borrower does not pay the debt, you will have to. Be sure you can afford to pay if you have to and that you want to accept this responsibility. You may have to pay up to the full amount of the debt if the borrower does not pay. You may also have to pay late fees or collection costs, which could increase this amount. The creditor can collect this debt from you without first collecting it from the borrower. The creditor can use the same collection methods against you that he can use against the borrower, such as suing you, garnishing your wages, etc. This debt ever goes into default. This may become part of your credit record. This notice is not the contract that makes you liable for the debt. So there you have it. They're playing deceptive cosigner practices. Peace and love.